Justice protests that erupted in Nevada City have now caught the attention of a human rights watch group. Amnesty International says police officers just stood by and watched as protesters were attacked during a Black Lives Matter demonstration. And CBS 13's Laura Hayfley is live with why some are blaming a clash of cultures. Laura. Imagine that tension came to a head here on this quiet, small, unassuming Nevada City street. Protesters came face to face. It got violent in an event that highlights the political divide we're seeing around the entire country. Divisions that seem to be ripping apart the country are playing out in a small Northern California mountain town. Nevada City, a microcosm of the U.S. It was definitely conservative for a long time, and the last few years, a lot more people have, you know, turned the city council, and now it's a more liberal place. The city now split right down the middle on one side. Trump all the way. And on the other. Video obtained by CBS 13 shows the two sides clashing back on August 9th. Get out of my town! A moment that got the attention of Amnesty International. It's not shocking to me that even a small town like this that has a huge racial issue would be a big topic for a huge international group like that. The Human Rights Watch Group released a report that added Nevada City's police department to a list of 200 across the U.S. they're calling neglectful. Writing about the August 9th protest, police officers were present and watched as approximately 20 counter protesters violently attacked a peaceful pro BLM demonstration. And the cops did nothing to try and stop the so called Patriots. Nevada City's chief of police wasn't available for an interview, but did tell us his department has arrested at least three of the counter protesters, including James Stephen Smith, one of the primary aggressors. They're here to protect us. But a lot of our population, especially the people of color, do not call the police. They do not see them as a helping hand. But even he was able to find common ground with the people different from him. I feel both groups feel like they are getting forgotten. And we did reach out to the Nevada city manager several times, and according to the Amnesty International report, so did they. We have not heard back yet. The chief of police tells us they've hired an outside investigator to look into that August 9th protest.